Wait a minute, what if Jack Frost and Elsa are standing right next to the engine and it's brick cold? You telling me don't warm my car up? Are you crazy? Nope, I'm not crazy. You're destroying your engine. Welcome back to the Simple Driver channel. My name is Calvin. And listen, I know you don't like driving in the cold. I know you don't want to jump in your vehicle and just freeze your butt off. But I do need to talk to you about why it's bad to actually warm your engine up 5, 10, or even 15 minutes before driving it. So make sure you watch the entire video because not only am I gonna give you that information, I'm also gonna give you some tips on how to defrost the ice on your windshield in 30 seconds. And I'm also gonna give you the magical number that you need to actually warm your vehicle up before driving off. First, let's talk about why people are doing this besides not wanting to freeze to death. Warming up your car before driving is just a leftover practice from when carbureted engines actually dominated the streets. And that's no longer the case. Carburetors mix gasoline and air to make vaporized fuel to run an engine. The problem is with carbureted engines from back in the day, they didn't have sensors, so they couldn't tweak the amount of gasoline that it took when it was cold outside, so they used a mechanical system called a choke. The choke restricted the air intake to actually run a richer mixture in the vehicle's engine. Back in the day, without warming up, the carburetor wouldn't get the right amount of mixture for the air and fuel to the engine and the car could easily stall out. Now, if you drive a vehicle that's been built in the mid to late 90s, you probably have electronic fuel injection, which renders warming up your vehicle for several minutes absolutely useless. All right, Calvin, I hear what you're saying, but what does electronic fuel injection have to do with this situation? Man, it's cold outside. All right, so here's the deal. EFI engines use sensors to supply fuel to the engines to get the right amount of air and fuel mix. As I was saying, this makes the problem of warming up your car before driving it irrelevant. The sensors are gonna automatically monitor and adjust temperature conditions in the engine for you. All right, so now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about the three major things that you absolutely need to know about warming up modern day engines. Number one, engines that have electronic fuel injection compensate for the cold by pumping more gasoline into the air fuel mixture. That extra gas is being used while your car is running rich. With that being said, driving is the fastest way to actually warm the engine up to 40 degrees Fahrenheit so that it switches back over to the normal fuel to air ratio. Plus idling is getting you zero miles to the gallon. Go ahead and check this card and this video up here about idling and why that's bad. Number two, Warming your car's engine up by letting it sit actually puts more fuel into the combustion chamber and that fuel can get onto the cylinder walls and that's gonna be bad for you. Why is that bad? Why? Because gasoline is an actual solvent and that means it can strip away oil from the engine cylinders and its pistons, which is very bad because that's gonna cause friction. Simply said, you're gonna have a shorter lifespan on crucial engine components. Number three, it takes five to 15 minutes to actually warm up your engine while you're driving it. So don't go tearing out of your driveway because you're gonna be late to work or because you're gonna be late to a meeting. If I was you, I would set my alarm clock five to 15 minutes early, especially if it's gonna be cold in your area. Okay, here's the bonus tips that I promised you. How long should I warm my vehicle up before driving it? Survey says from engineers and mechanics that if it's above freezing, 30 seconds. If it's below freezing, one minute. You only need to idle long enough to build up oil pressure and circulation for key lubricating components within your car's engine. The second bonus tip is how do you get ice off your windshield within 30 seconds? Because if I'm telling you not to idle and warm your vehicle's engine up very long, you also don't want to have ice on your windshield when it's time to go. So how do you do that? The solution is actually simple. Get a spray bottle, any spray bottle will do, put one third water in it, two thirds rubbing alcohol in it, shake it up and spray that solution on your windshield. The ice will dissipate in about 30 seconds. Why you ask? Because alcohol has a freezing point of 128 degrees Fahrenheit. So there you have it. The answer to the question, should I warm up my car's engine before driving, even if it's cold? My name is Calvin. I'm the simple driver. Peace.